we are incredibly sick as a culture because we have a sickness care system. We don't have a health care system. Many people die in this country not because of the disease, because of the drug that is given for the disease, because of Adderall, because of Zoloft, because of antibiotics, because of Xanax. You may need these drugs in severe stages, but not all the time. It is definitely being overutilized and overused. What do you think you're going to feel in a year from now? What do you think you're going to feel five years from now? Taking these pills and medication and the way you have been treating yourself. If the way you feel now by what you're doing, it was helping you, you would have been fixed by now. What do you think you're going to feel 10 years from now? So if there's a way to take care of it naturally with a doctor who understands, with physicians who practice functional medicine, if it makes sense, do it. If it doesn't make sense, don't do it. Vioxx killed more people than Vietnam War. If you don't believe me, Google it. Good health makes a lot of sense, but it doesn't make dollars for the pharmaceutical companies. Psychiatric medications are on the rise. There are more people on these drugs than ever. Kids! It's all because of statin drugs. The parents who are taking statin medication, the moms who are hormonally imbalanced, fat-free diet. Fat-free diet is horrible. Not having organic food, not having DHA, living on diet soda. These medications overstimulate the brain in an attempt to make it to work better for the day. It doesn't do anything for development of these superhighways and remapping the brain that we're talking about. Folks, you need to avoid certain food because they have been shown to trigger inflammation and stress in many people, which will exacerbate your symptoms, your autoimmune condition. Inflammation, it causes poor brain health. We give you a booklet as a patient of this office, the foods that you should eat, the foods that you should avoid. Because certain food you should avoid. Diet soda you should avoid. Certain food cause memory loss, brain fog, forgetfulness. We will test you on which foods you should avoid, which foods you can continue having. Just because you eat healthy, that doesn't mean it gets digested in your body and your body likes it. We have had numerous patients with bad gut function and were on multiple gut medications, but they still had a bad gut because they were constipated, because they had a parasite. You need, and what we did for these patients, we fixed their brain and their gut symptoms got better. Why? Because poor brain function can impact your gut function. Poor gut function can also cause poor brain function. We have talked about that in other videos. Poor gut function can cause poor brain function because the vagus nerve that's in the brain coming down goes to your gut handles communication between the brain and the gut. Therefore, if you're on gut medication and are still having gut issues, you may want to find out if you have a vagus nerve problem that keeps getting stimulated and causes the brain malfunction. As a result, you have gut malfunction. Does it happen? Yes. Most of our patients who have gut issues, they have brain issues as well. Often patients ask us, do I have to take these supplements that you gave me every day? And the answer is yes. As long as you want to feel good, you take these supplements every day. Our physicians prescribe natural hormones for men and women. 
Do they need to take the natural hormones, natural bioidentical hormones every day? Yes, our physicians prescribe it to them. As long as they want to feel good, the patients, they will continue using them. Next point is diet. Listen to what I'm about to say. You need to eat for energy. Healthy food, as I said, it does not mean it's healthy for you. The only way to find if you have food or environmental sensitivity is to get tested. There are a lot of junk supplements that can actually worsen your symptoms. Our medical panel will order diagnostic testing for you that is painless and non-invasive and it's done on site to see and to scan your body for toxins, for heavy metals, for chemicals, for food and metabolic stressors and try to fix them and then you need to avoid them for rest of your life some of this stuff. If your body doesn't digest the protein in milk casein and it comes up in the testing that we do that you have highly sensitivity to it, you need to avoid milk. What do you want me to tell you? But the good news is when you avoid it for a couple of weeks, you start feeling better. And in fact, when you reintroduce it to your diet, then you get all those bad symptoms back. Then you say, wow, I guess I'm really allergic and have intolerance to casein. You need to understand if a well-functioning body has the ability to detoxify. But when you don't have a well-functioning body, you cannot detoxify. You should not expose yourself to toxins and chemicals and preservatives that you cannot detoxify. That is why some people can have gluten, some people cannot have gluten. When a baby is born, the baby's immune system is not even developed to be able to detoxify. And I have no idea why the kids get multiple vaccinations within several days or months that they're in this world. I'm not anti-vaccine. All I'm saying is there is a lot of heavy metals in the vaccines that causes food sensitivities and food allergies and weakened immune system that causes seasonal allergies later on that causes chronic illnesses later on which is on the rise. I'm just educating you. Most of our patients they have been to more than five doctors for their chronic symptoms. They have been to a gastroenterologist, they have been to an endocrinologist, they have been to a primary care physician. Some of them have had surgeries. Some of them, their thyroid was not working, they removed it. Their gallbladder was not working, they removed it. Well, they waited too long. They have to be removed.